So this is real effects racing. It's the most advanced radio control racing system in the world. It uses artificial intelligence and 2.4 gigahertz on the chip. What that allows us to do is for the car, as it goes round the track, to read exactly where it is on the track 200 times a second. And in real time, it gives feedback to the handsets, which in turn feed back to the cars. You can race with one car on its own on the track against the pace car. So I can take the other car in the set. With the handset, I can switch it to a pace car setting. So I'll switch on the handset, I'll switch on the car. I'm going to choose a practice mode. Now, you won't be able to hear this from where you're standing because there's a lot of noise in here, but there is audio coming out of the handset on the loudspeaker. It's asked me to choose a mode, so I'm going to choose practice. Actually, I'll put it onto a loudspeaker so you can hear it. Practice. Position vehicles on the starting grid and press the check button. Now, normally, the fastest way to get going is to do that, switch this on, and now press the check green button. And I can be racing straight away. But I'm actually going to switch this to pace car mode. Pace car, novice. Pace car, expert. So two settings in pace car, a fast or a slow. I press go. Now, no hands at all. Go. The car is driving around the track, finding its own way around autonomously. So I've just taken, disconnected the loudspeaker for a second so that you can hear me. So now if I'm at home, no one to play with, I can still race against the car in its pace car setting. So, I take the other car. Now I'm going to switch the other car on. Welcome to Real FX Racing. Switch on your vehicle. So everything is voice prompt on the menu. So I switch the car on. Vehicle and handset pair. Select vehicle. Mode. I've got three modes. I've got that one in the pace car mode. I can choose championship mode. If I choose championship mode, I can then set the number of laps. I can have track hazards, both at random or targeted, and a whole host of other features. It's like a video game, but in real life. But I'm going to choose practice. Practice. Position vehicles on the starting grid and press the check button. So I'm going to put the car down now and race. The opto sensors, which is where the artificial intelligence is in the cars, is underneath. You've got an opto sensor at the front and the rear, and these act like the car's eyes. They're reading the track 200 times a second. Three, two, I'm going to squeeze the accelerator. Go! And without even looking at the car, the car is following that middle of the track. Moving Every time it crosses the line, lap six, point nine, point it tells you how fast that lap was. So now, if I add steering, lap seven, point three, six. I'm going to go for a lap record. Now I'm adding steering. So, I'm going to show you what I'm doing now. I'm not just squeezing it and letting it follow itself around that track. I'm also, as I get towards the bend, using the steering control so I can take a tighter line in. So if I slow this down and show you my steering, I can steer left or right. And I add that to the speed so I can take a tighter bend, accelerate down the straights, Try and overtake my opponent on the inside or the outside of the track. Whoa! And if I come off, I just drive it back on the track and it will lock back off. So it's sticking to the track but it's not stuck. So just like a slot car, if I go too quick, I come off. But I've got to drive it back on. So if I go too quick, when I come off, I just reverse back into the track and the AI takes over and it guides me around. So the skill is, is knowing where to speed up, where to slow down, and where to steer. Whoa. Not a great demo at the moment.